Thank you, Beth. Beth had complimented my eyeshadow yesterday. I recreated the look today and I'm going to show you how I did it. My inspiration was that my manicurist had basically done a pale pink to a like a lavender gray. So I really kind of like that ombre. So I was like, oh, let me kind of do something like that. So let me show you how I did it. I started out, this is the first time that I had tried the Lip Sense eyeshadow, but this is in the color Shell Glitter. And I put this all over my lid. So I actually, I don't know if you follow my sister M Tag, but this is really her technique where she kind of starts out by putting a full color all over the lid. And then she kind of um, darkens and lightens the outside and the inside respectively. But if you're not following her, I'm going to tag her below because this is really her technique that I learned from. It's M underscore tag to get my hair up. Then I went to the Disney palette and I took this like lavender odd goody, audacious and thumbs up. So this was kind of my darker color, but I didn't want to go too dark. I have hooded eyes. So actually as Erica Taylor says, what did she say? Over the eyelid and over the hood. I don't know what she says, but it's wicked funny when she says it. Then what I do is I mix this really, really light lavender and the white, and I super brighten up the inside. I really kind of bring that white inside and it makes it so bright. Like this step alone is a game changer. And sometimes I'll even like put an extra coat of white over it so that you really get that like light, medium, dark. Isn't that awesome? Then I give it a little zhuzh, but not too blendy. So I do want that gradation to stay. And then I'm gonna pop a little baby wing on it, just something to like extend my eye. And I do this because I'm not good enough to do a really nice wing. And that's about as easy as it gets. And then I think I'll go with L'Oreal Voluminous. And there you go. There is the final look. I also just did a tutorial, I just haven't posted it yet, about hairless heat curlers. So this was literally last night, no heat. And honestly, when you do a glimmer, always make sure you do like a little tiny glimmer on your nose. It just gives you that like extra little pop and it brings it all together. Have a great day. See you soon.